good morning students it's me dakshina i'm here with my next video and the topic is body language while assessing the body language the panel primarily looks at eye contact and hand movement the speaker must maintain a consistent eye contact with the entire group as he or she speaks and the listeners must recipro reciprocate if the either doesn't happen you allow the panel to infer whatever they wish to from a lack of confidence to a lack of interest in the gd to the lack of concern for others all very detrimental to the final score hand movements are to your speech what punctuation is to your writing if used wisely they beautifully enhance the effect of your words if used unwisely they attract unnecessary attention and distract the listener from your words i recommend that you simply free your hands do not engage them with something pointless such as playing with the pen or tapping on the desk or running through your hair common among female participants the body has an intelligence of its own just leave your hands alone and focus on the topic hands will start moving naturally please remember that body language cannot be faked a skilled observer will quickly see through such deception just focus on the task at the hand and the body will obediently follow the panel may also of even the most powerful words unless you are a tommy lee jones vary the pitch of your voice in order to create emphasis wherever needed group behavior this is usually assessed in a bold broad distinction assertive or aggressive avoid the latter no matter what assertiveness is a rational display of through subtle intimidation assertiveness allow room for flexibility which is a desired while aggressiveness leads to irrational rigidity of viewpoint please remember that b schools are looking for sensitive individuals not skin hard bouncers now that you know how you will be evaluate focus on a specific area of improvement during your particip practice series identify with the help of your trainer the strength and weakness set clear goals for yourself and do not lose the sight of them during your practice recommended background preparation for a group discussion the most vital component to one's perform in the gd is the content as current affairs tend to dominate the gd is conscious of how to build the fact bank of current affairs is necessary review the timelines of important national and international affairs and the subsequent developments therein follow at least two local two national and two international newspapers and news channels every day concentrate on information in newspapers it is found mostly in the first four pages the finance page and the sport pages you may or you may not read the editorial which offer opinion comment and perspective but you must read the news because you need facts to support your standpoints for if you have no facts you only have opinions which you may end up merely repeating throughout your contribution in a gd please remember that the gd is not elimination process but only one of the several selection process with certain weightage that contributes to the final score Thank you. Thank you.